Hey everyone, Michael J. Nelson here. I hope you enjoy this upcoming episode of Mystery Science Theater 3000. This is Overdrawn at the Memory Bank. This is kind of a special episode for us because it was filmed in glorious videotape, which made it look horrible. <laughs> it, was, it was a PBS episode. I recall at the time that uh, Bill Corbett knew the person who had written this. It was someone of note in playwriting and Bill had somehow crossed paths. And so we were expecting great things. And then we got overdrawn at the memory bank. My only memory of it is uh, Drunk Monkeys and the late great Raul Julia doing his best and uh, Mom, My Nuts uh, being sort of a pull out line from that. But also I was very fond of the uh, sketch that we did that was spoofing PBS where Pearl Forrester sang a song that I believe Bridget and I co-wrote called When Loving Lovers Love. And I remember <laughs> putting a lot into that and getting, uh, I think, some decent results. It was, uh, it was very funny. It made us all laugh at the time. I mean, we put so much effort into those sketches that uh, I hope you can see the love that went into Loving Lovers Love. Uh, enjoy Overdrawn at the Memory Bank. Hello, and thank you for your purchase. I am Mike Nelson, here to welcome you to this episode of Mystery Science Theater 3000. This is Werewolf. Now, from a maker's perspective, two things stand out in Werewolf. First of all, we had a lot of fun producing the song Werewolf, one of many, many 50 song parodies that we did over the years, but nevertheless, a fun one and one that stuck out for us. The second thing is a phrase from the movie became a writing room favorite. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's a, a dumb line, but it was shouted by one of the main characters. I believe it's Johnny Longbone who says, Paul is not Paul anymore. And that it was just an odd line reading and it stuck in our head. And we still say it to this day, us survivors of that writing room. We may shout it at each other across a busy street or what have you. So I hope it's as memorable for you as it is for us. Please enjoy Werewolf. Hello, thank you for your purchase. My name is Mike Nelson and I'm here to personally welcome you to this episode of Mystery Science Theater 3000. This is the final sacrifice. This Canucksploitation classic holds a special place in our hearts because of Rousedower. Rousedower, one of the greatest characters to ever grace the Canadian screen. He's a man after my own heart, a pickup truck full of beer, fishing poles in the back, a true hero for the ages. I really hope you enjoy the final sacrifice. Hello, thank you for your purchase. I'm Mike Nelson, here to welcome you to this episode of Mystery Science Theater 3000. This is Future War. Future War is one of my favorites. It has one of my favorite stars, Mr. Robert Zadar. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Mr. Zadar. Please don't come to my home and correct me. It also has a great uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme simulacrum, and I don't mean that as a slam. He's a very good Jean-Claude Van Damme simulacrum. And it has some of the worst puppet dinosaurs you have ever seen in your life. Please enjoy Mystery Science Theater 3000 Future War. Hello and thank you for your purchase. My name is Michael J. Nelson here to welcome you to this episode of Mystery Science Theater 3000. This is Final Justice. This is yet another in the Joe Don Baker oeuvre. We love Joe Don Baker. He does not love us, so we've heard. Hopefully someday we can, uh, we can make recompense for what we've done. But we love him, we love his movies, and this is one of his best, Final Justice, which has given you the memorable phrase, go ahead on. Well, that's what I say to you right now. Continue watching the episode, go ahead on.